To design construction details where layered assemblies come together, such as where this wall and wall meet this floor, simply switch to the massing graph view mode and click the edge where their parent planes all meet. This edge can carry a detail as a property. We can click Add New Detail and then start to edit it to see its matrix of values. As we can see here in the line work, or by switching view modes in the physical layers, these layers are extended certain distances from the blue line. The floor plate is retracted 2 and 9 30 seconds of an inch away, and the bottom floor has a variety of layer extensions that are all sorts of messy values. We will clean these values up. Let's start by extending the floor the proper distance across the studs. We will type a value of 1 and 27 30 seconds in this space, copy it, and paste it into these four values. We have just modified the front and back extensions of the plywood layer as well as that of the joist layer, and now they both extend 1 and 27 30 seconds beyond the blue line. We can also fix the lower wall by changing its values to negative 7 and 31 30 seconds. Paste, 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 and we now see that this wall is retracted 7 and 31 30 seconds of an inch behind the blue line. However, we would like to make some final modifications to how this sheathing works in this layer. So we will extend the sheathing of the upper wall by four inches. The two layers for the sheathing and waterproofing are the plastic and the OSB. We will type four inches, copy and paste that across those two layers. And now we see that the sheathing and waterproofing from the wall above are being lapped over the subfloor and the joists. We will also retract the OSB and waterproofing of the lower wall by making these values be negative four inches. Copy and paste, copy and paste. And now the layers of the wall below and of the wall above are all situated correctly. The last step is to give this detail a name. We will call it typical floor plate at exterior wall. And now anywhere else in the project that we have the same assemblies, we can choose to reuse the same details. In this way, you install great detail into your exported DWGs.